Good morning everyone, Unforgiven here, bringing you another tutorial on using GIMP, the graphics uh, depilation program. This is a free open source freeware program. It can be downloaded from GIMP.org or by simply doing an internet search for GIMP. I believe the latest version as of this video is 2.8. Today's tutorial will be covering adding in filters or script foos into uh, your GIMP program. Uh, once you do have GIMP downloaded and installed on your PC. You just open it up and you should have something quite similar to what I have opened up here. I have a theme installed so my color scheme is going to be a little different. Uh, if you'll notice across the top here where you have your standard basic menu with file, edit, select, view, image, so on and so forth, I have an extra little one put in here entitled script foo. Uh, now when you uh, download and install this directly off the internet this will not be here and that is what we are covering today in this tutorial is how to get this added in and it is basically adding in extra filters and the filters are what all these are here and this is the fun little things that you can do uh, to your images to kind of play around and mess with them and if you're ever trying to do just a, a certain specific thing and uh, you're, you find a filter or something that you want to use here and it just doesn't quite give you the in the adjustments you want or it just doesn't that quite do exactly what you want uh, and you can't find another filter that will that you have in here there is a way to solve that and to do so what we're going to do is add in or search for and add in script foos into GIMP by going over to help scrolling down to GIMP online and clicking on the plugin registry the shell open up the GIMP plugin registry within your default internet browser. Uh, once here, uh, this site is just completely filled with script foos and uh, plugins and all, all kinds of little goodies for GIMP. And you can just use the handy little built in insight search here for anything you want to look for. Uh, today, for shits and giggles in this tutorial, uh, I want to look up one of my favorite script foos that I've found and downloaded. Uh, it's entitled Layer Effects. So you can just simply Type in layer effects into the search box. And give it a quick little search. At the top result should be layer effects. I'll give that a click, and it should bring you to the page uh, for the for the uh, script foo. Uh, this just gives you a little drop down, or excuse me, a little uh, breakdown of what filters are included within this package right here. Now if you're a Windows PC user you're going to want to download the .scm version of the file and if you're using a Mac you're going to need the Python version or the .py version of the file. I am currently running a Windows PC so I would be clicking on the .scm. Uh, doing so will just download to your PC. Uh, make sure you know where it downloads to because you are going to have to locate it and move it and put it in the correct spot. Once you do have it on your PC, just navigate yourself to where you have downloaded it and either cut, copy, move your preference there to get this file in the appropriate place. However, since I already have it, I am just going to delete mine. Now, to find out where to put this file, we're going to go back into GIMP and under edit up top we're going to scroll down to preferences now on the left hand side at the very bottom you have folders if you expand that and get a little scroll you should see scripts now clicking on that it should show you on the right hand side here the location or locations of the scripts uh, that are used within GIMP now I've been using it for quite some time and have used older versions so I have multiple locations. Uh, more than likely you should just have this 2.8 type of uh, destination here. So simply open up Windows Explorer, navigate to the GIMP 2.8 scripts folder. Once there just right click or edit and paste 
your .sem file. Once that is done, you can just come back into GIMP. There is no need to restart it. And come up top to Filters. Scroll down to the, almost the very bottom to where you have Script Foo. And you should have three options for Console, Refresh Scripts, and Start script Server. Excuse me. Refresh Scripts is the one we're going to want to use. Uh, clicking that, you'll notice my script foo does disappear momentarily while it does a full refresh. If you never had it, uh, once you do a refresh, this should pop up for the very first time. Uh, clicking on that, we should be able to now see your layer effects along with all the little goodies that it does give you. Uh, I will take just a moment to note that I have downloaded and put uh, quite a few different script foos into GIMP here. Uh, yet only two of them have actually put themselves under the script foo title up here. The rest seem to be under the filters drop down and have put themselves actually into the respective categories. Uh, let's say just, just for instance here, here's one I downloaded earlier uh, a couple days ago called Cartoon Eyes and it places itself under artistic. So there are quite a few others that are just randomly put into here that I know of. There is no way to specify where it actually installs and shows up. Uh, within the GIMP program, but it will show up either under the script foo drop down or under the filters drop down. Uh, I did have one show up under the filters where it created its own script foo here. Uh, it's called 3D Screenshot, but uh, so there just is a little random there on where it puts itself. And that does cover how to install, how to search and find and install new filters and script foos into the GIMP graphics manipulation program. I hope this was very informative and you enjoyed. Please take a second to hit that like button and subscribe and tune in next week for another video.